it's god trilla back at it with another video and i am so proud and happy to announce god trilla's official nba 2k21 shooting secrets nobody wants you to know part two i worked really really hard on this video getting all these clips together for y'all explaining everything in this video i did it all for y'all so i really hope y'all enjoy it if this video turns out to help you out just simply drop a like on this video also comments comments help a lot too to all my non-subscribers watching this video right now if this video helps you out if you could just hit that subscribe button man that will really help me out a lot I am trying to grow. I am trying to get to 500k subscribers and I really would appreciate it if y'all could hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications if this video really turns out to be a W for you. Now, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Welcome to God Trilla Academy. Who that is? Oh, that's Scott Trill. You know that boy be keeping it real. I gotta go ball trying to chase me a meal. These eyes they be hating cause they got no chill. You can say what you want, but my bars you gon' feel. I don't shoot for the net, I just shoot for the kill. And that's one for the record, ain't signing no deals. We had 500k, watch me get to a meal. They hating on me, now I know you excited. Can't damage my heart if my spirit ignited. I look at the sky and the stars they aligning. I'm higher than higher, I'm flyer than flyer. She off the Miley, no Cyrus. I'm up at the top like a pilot. I do what I do cause I'm righteous. I'm counting my blessings. My future, the brightest is already written. No need to rewrite us. Hey! Alright, y'all. Shooting secrets tip number one. How to quick stop slash set your feet three different ways that's right y'all it's three different ways to do this however let's get into the main way to do this all right let's get into the best way to do this the best way to do this the new meta after patch and and even on next gen this will still be the best way to quick stop on this game y'all been seeing me do it in all of my game plays all of my clips y'all probably wondering like trilla how you quick stopping like that and y'all i'm not gonna lie to you the truth is about this quick stop bro it make it boot it gives you a jump shot boost when you do this quick stop your jump shot goes straight to green i kid you not bro this gig this gives you a jump shot boost and it goes straight to green when you do this quick stop look how look how I finesse the quick stop for the teacher how to do it as you can see it's so quick it's hard to contest and it also gives you a jump shot boost instantly get, giving you a green light bro how you do this quick stop is actually quite simple you actually using the right stick okay when you're using the right stick you just flicking the right stick horizontal to the opposite ball hand and i'm finna go and i'm finna show y'all some i'm about to just basically give y'all a whole tutorial on how to do this in a mic court so you ain't got to worry about it at all i'm finna show y'all how to do this move in a mic court look how glitchy it is look how much it just it's just so amazing it gets a good comfort zone it gets a good feeling and when you shoot off of it your bad jump shot it just turns green so we finna get into the mic court and i'm finna get more in depth with it it's i just wanted to show y'all some clips of it because y'all been seeing me do it but some of y'all probably ain't been realizing what i've been doing you know what i'm saying that you feel me y'all probably thinking i'm quick stopping like you or something but nah bro yeah this, this is a different quick stop man it's the new meta you just simply using the right stick you flick it to the opposite ball hand and bow but now let's get straight into the tutorial and i'm gonna catch y'all on the other side okay all right y'all i'm finna teach y'all how to quick stop i got the controller cam right there just so y'all can see what i'm talking about all right quick stopping is it's pretty easy all right it's pretty easy all you gotta do again when you run into a side, you flick the stick horizontal, all right? You know what horizontal is? Look at the controller. Literally, just like that. You see that horizontal? Look, I'm just, I'm not going to shoot off of it, but if your player should do that animation right there, if you're doing it right, he should do that animation right there. You can shoot off that animation super fast like this, like that. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's how you do the new quick stop. It's pretty easy. Look at it. And you can do it anywhere on the court. You know what I'm saying? It's very, very easy. It's useful. And I'm sure that you're going to get used to it the more you do it, okay? And y'all, who almost forgot to mention, when I say horizontal, I mean to your off-ball hand, all right? So here it is, right? If I'm running to the right side, I'm going to flick the right stick to the left, all right? To my off-ball hand, you get me? To the opposite ball hand, you get what I'm saying? So if I'm running to the left, I flick it to the right. You get what I'm saying? That's how that's what I mean when I say horizontal. You know what I'm saying? Just flick it, flick the right stick to whatever hand the ball is not in. So if I'm going to the left side, I'm gonna flick it to the right. If I'm going to the left, I mean to the right, I'm gonna flick to the left. You feel me? And that's what I mean when I say horizontal, all right? If done correctly, you're gonna do the quick stop just like that. But be warned, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. If you do this quick stop wrong, <laughs> Trust me, you will know. Because if you do this quick stop wrong, bro, it's gonna give you this slow quick stop, bro. And you're gonna hate it, bro. It's hard to shoot off of it. You gotta make sure you do the quick stop right every single time, or it's gonna make you do this right here. Look, let me show you. It's gonna make you do that right there. See how long it took me to shoot off that? 
that's not the quick stop truth be told bro you're going to get the hang of the quick stop bro it's not you're you're going to rarely do that wrong quick stop bro you really ain't got much to worry about but just, i'm just saying bro you you're going to do that wrong quick stop sometimes but not all the time you know what i'm saying so you ain't got really much to worry about and remember y'all you do not have to rely on the new quick stop all the time and in fact there's another way to quick stop as well most of you know about this way to quick stop it's quite easy actually and it and to put it into simpler terms all you doing is letting go everything on your controller so as soon as you do this quick stop basically you let you let go everything off your controller and you just shoot it just like that i'm finna show y'all give you an example i let go everything and look how my player just set his feet for me you know what i'm saying this is like probably how most of y'all was already quick stopping but now that you you know what i'm saying and this is actually an easier way to do it i'll be mixing it up i'll be doing this quick stop sometimes because you don't always got to do that new quick stop look how I let go everything look how I let go everything and I shoot it just like that you just let go everything off your controller and shoot that's it man you just basically while you run it let go everything then shoot your player gonna set his feet and you can in, in, a, in a timely manner you can shoot the ball instantly you know what I'm saying I'm gonna show y'all how to do this in the mic court too this is another way to quick stop there's a lot of quick stops. I know, y'all. It's, it's it's crazy. All these quick stops. You're like, man, I don't. Which one should I do, Triller? Honestly, just do what you're comfortable with. Look how I quick stop right there without using the new quick stop method. You do not have to rely on the new quick stop method all the time. You can you can also quick stop like this. Mix them up. Be smart with it. But that new quick stop is definitely the the best and new way to do the quick stop, and it's very useful. We finna. I'm finna get straight into the mic court so I can give y'all an example of this quick stop right here. Okay. All right, y'all, we back in the mic court. So let me show you what I'm talking about. You just learned how to quick stop the quick, you, you just learned the new quick stop, all right? You learned the new meta for quick stopping. Y'all know how to quick stop now for, you feel me? You already know how to look like that, you know what I'm saying? When you go hor flip the stick horizontal, you know how to quick stop now, congratulations. Now, you gotta understand that you don't have to rely on that all the time if you do not want to. You do not gotta force that quick stop now all the time because if you run and let go everything on your controller, your player's gonna quick stop for you. You see how I just ran and then I let go everything on my controller and then, and then I just shot the ball. That's all I did. You can peep the controller cam right now, bro. It's really not. It's really simple, actually. I'm like I said, I just run. My player gonna slide and then I just shoot it. You see that? You see what I'm saying? And then and it's just that simple. You let your player slide and then you shoot the ball, bro. It's just that simple. While you're playing, when your player's in that slide animation, you can you got a choice to either shoot off of it or do the behind the back off of it. And that's what y'all see me do a lot in my clips and how I be getting so many kills because once I do that behind the back, when I slide, I behind the back back the other way and then I just shoot the ball every single time. I do this every single time, y'all. And if you practice, you will see what I'm talking about, and you can do it just like me, or you can even you can even do it better than me. What? You know what I'm saying? See how you slid behind the back? It's unpredictable. You don't. And then look, I'm all those quick stops I just did. All y'all just saw was me just simply letting go everything, y'all. <laughs> you feel me? That's all I was doing. It was just letting go everything. It's nothing to that. It ain't no trick up my sleeve. Nothing. You feel me? You just it's just that simple one last thing i'm gonna mention mention is yeah it is true there is another quick stop with l2 all right when you click l2 then you shoot off l2 guys i mean yeah you know this quick stop yeah it's true it is a different quick it is another quick stop you just click l2 and you shoot off l2 but y'all come let's be realistic this quick stop sucks you know what i'm saying it sucks we don't like doing we don't like clicking l2 all the time you feel me so if you really want to uh finesse that quick stop the right way in the best way i'm gonna give y'all this secret little tip that works but you know do it at your own risk you know what i'm saying so when you running, you feel me? You know how your player be sliding? How you let go everything on your controller to make your player slide so you can shoot off that quick stop right there? When your player slide, if you click L2 while your player is sliding, you can shoot off of it quicker. You get what I'm saying? Do this at your own risk. You feel me? Look, you can shoot off of it way quicker if you click L2. You can cancel out that slide. You can cancel out the slide. Yes, you can cancel out the slide with L2 and you can shoot off L2. But do it at your own risk. You know what I'm saying? It works like a charm. Don't get me wrong. You feel me? And yeah, but if you really want me to be honest, this is a lot to take in. You know what I'm saying? It might mess it might mess with your head a little bit. You might you might be thinking like Triller, why are you you sounding like a lunatic? That's three different quick stops, Triller. I can't remember all of that at once. That's why I said do it at your own risk because I don't want to just fill your head up with so many things and you can't keep up. You know what I'm saying? So you got to go out there and do everything and practice and see what you like. You know what I'm saying? But it is true. If you click L2 when you're running, you can cancel out the slide and shoot 
off of it very quick to do a sudden quick stop i'll be sticking to just those two the other two i showed y'all but i mean listen do everything at your own risk because this is definitely a meta and it's definitely helpful you see how i quick stop you cancel out that slide and you can shoot right away it's definitely helpful but do it at your own risk all right because if I, i'm not trying to <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trying to like, you feel me, mess up your groove with these three different quick stops that you just learned from me. But uh, do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Just know that you got a God Triller. You know what I'm saying? If I made you a guy, you know, turned you, got you hip to some information, man, hit that subscribe button if you knew. And hit that like button so I know it's real, man. If we can get 10K likes on this video, then I know that this video helped y'all a lot, man. Thank you. Now, let's move on. All right, y'all, another tip we finna get into is shooting off of L2, when you click L2, all right? The proper way, all right? I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, after patch, you know what I'm saying? You can, st it's still certain moves that makes you do lean and dribble pull-ups and stuff. Like, if you try to shoot off the step back, for example, it's gonna make you do that little lean and step back. You see what I just did, how it made me do like some little leaner, like I'm doing a dribble pull-up. I just, I'm gonna I'm try not to green it so you can see how it looks like. Let me just show you. You see it? You see that? I hate that. So if you don't want to do that, if you're not used to shooting off of it, you can click L2 off of it and you won't do it at all. As you can see, I just did it regular. I did regular because I just clicked L2. And that goes for any dribble move you do, like the curry slide. If you do the curry slide, if you want to shoot off the curry slide, see, I, if you don't want to wait until the animation plays out of the curry slide, if you click L2 after the, like, we, while you're doing it, you can cancel out the curry slide, all right? See that? You can cancel out and shoot off of it quicker. Just click in L2, y'all. That's right. Another move is the crab move right here. When you do this move right here, um, if you like I said you you don't have to let the animation play out all the way You can click L2 and you can shoot whenever you want to you feel me like see how I just shot off of it So quick you just click L2 and you can shoot off of it really really quick Now the reason why this is useful is because when you're in a real game and you're going to get some competition Sometimes you got to shoot off certain moves quicker. You know what I'm saying? So you click L2 and that helps you out under pressure You feel me even when you do the step back you see how I just do the step back without you feel me? Everything helps out along the right along the way click L2 to cancel out of moves and it's just that simple All right, we're gonna get into the next big major thing coming right up Three for four jump shot speed is for the most green light consistency whereas Four for four jump shot speed is for the most peaks y'all get where I'm going if you're a guard, right, and you want to shoot a lot of greens or whatever, like whatever type of guard you are, I'm not sure, you know, you're running a one or the two, um, even if you a stretch big, three out of four is the most, it's for the most green light consistency. You shoot a lot of greens with this. It's easy to time and it's simple. However, four for, four for four speed for any guard that pushes the ball at the one, I'm talking to y'all directly. You can shoot the most peaks with 4 for 4, but it does not compare to the green light consistency as 3 for 4, in my opinion. But it definitely helps you get your shot off quicker if you go 4 for 4. There you can shoot peaks and shoot green light peaks. That's insane. You get your shot off real quick, and when you get used to 4 for 4, it's, it's definitely straight greens. I'm just keeping it real. As for me, I've been using 3 for 4 speed on my jump shot. And when you look at these clips that I'm finna get into, you honestly might not even tell the difference. It might not even look like I'm using 3 for 4 just because how fast my jump shot actually looks. Let's get into it. I'm going to show you guys these clips right here of me using 3 for 4 jump shot speed. Y'all been asking me, probably wondering why I'm greening so much. And probably majority of the reason is because I, sh I use 3 for 4 jump shot speed. And to tell you the truth, this really look it is it really isn't as slow as people really thought it out to be like if you see me shoot off of it you might think i'm using four for four but bro i'm telling you i'm using three for four the reason it looks so fast sometimes is because i shoot when i quick stop with three for four bro it's so quick and that it's like instantly it feels like four for four but honestly it, when you shoot off the quick stop with three for four it's so smooth and so green and and it's just crazy however look at this 
six contest I got with three for four speed. And this is where four for four jump shot speed comes in clutch because right there, I would have probably gotten a 30% contest if I was using three, if I was using four for four speed. You get what I'm going now? I got a 56 contest when I was using 3 for 4, but if I was using 4 for 4, that would have been like a 30 contest. But that's why I would say 4 for 4 is kind of clutch when if you want to get your shot off quicker, and if you get used to 4 for 4, the best perk of that is you get the best of both worlds, you get peaks, and you get straight greens. However, for efficiency and consistency and everything like that, I'm using 3 for 4. I've been using 3 for 4 this whole time. It's so clutch and it's straight greens. 3 for 4 is honestly easy to time, but 4 for 4 definitely has its perks. Anyway, Anyway, let's get into shooting secrets number four no meter and no vibration all right y'all another shooting secret tip i'm gonna give you bro is just turn off your shot meter bro i'm just keeping it real like yeah it's cool shot meters is cool but man if you turn off your shot meter bro i think you will shoot way better in my opinion bro all you got to do is learn to release and if i remind me yo remind me if i'm wrong but i believe there's a jump shot boost credited to someone using no shot meter i think if you use no shot meter it gives you a jump shot boost you know what i'm saying another tip i'm going to give you is turning off vibration don't use vibration bro don't even use vibration and don't don't even do it bro i'm letting you know right now you will shoot way more greens if you turn off vibration all right i i'm telling you right now i turned off vibration and i shoot way better i'm just keeping it honest yeah i get it some people like to use vibration because you know yeah when it vibrates you shoot and it pulls to help you out but honestly bro i even hear this from the best people on the game and they tell they would tell me that no vibration is the best way to go so don't use vibration and don't use shot meter you feel me because i'm telling you you will shoot way better once you get the hang of this uh, of a jump shot you feel me if you want to use a jump shot landing go ahead you know a lot of people use jump shot landings i use jump shot landings you know i'll be using jump shot landing i think jump shot landings um it's funny using it and it, i think it fastens up your jump shot low key i ain't gonna lie but you know it really i don't think jump shot landings matter that much though y'all you feel me but you know if you want to you want to but these two right here I think you should go you should turn them off but if you used to jump shot meter if you already used to it already and you get a lot of greens then don't even worry about it you feel me don't even worry about it but if you shoot so many whites with it why do you still have it on you know what i mean why are you still putting yourself through all that stress just make the just make the comp move make the move make it all turn it all off i got jump shots i'm gonna give you that's gonna make you good you don't need a jump shot you don't need a jump shot meter with the jump shots i'm gonna give you you feel me with the secret tips and and, and all the tricks i'm gonna give you you don't need none of that, y'all. And you know what I'm saying? So that's why I be telling y'all non-subs that be watching me to turn on notifications, to subscribe. Because this, y'all be missing my other videos and then come back and, and watch another video of mine. So can you show me your build? Or can you give me a jump shot? And I already been dropping all of that. Y'all just don't turn on notifications. Y'all don't subscribe. So what you what you want me to do? You know what I'm saying? You, you got to subscribe. You got to turn on notifications. It's the best way to go. Like, a, like this video, thumbs up. You feel me? We got more to go, man. Let's go, man. On to the next tip. All right, guys. The last thing I want to get into is jump shot boost, all right? I'm not going to lie. This helps out a lot, all right? You will see a major difference. I ain't going to lie. If you buy jump shot boost, you're going to see a major difference, all right? I'm not going to lie. It helps a lot, but it does cost VC. So it's all up to you in the end. I mean, if you don't got the VC, then don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? I got, trust me, everything in this video is going to help you shoot better. And not only that, there is another video that I'm getting, I'm about to drop that's going to make you even shoot better. But I'm just saying jump shot boost really makes a difference i normally just get like 10 or i get as many as i need honestly you feel me uh, i actually need some right now um i guess i'll just i guess i'll just buy screw it i got a lot of vc because i've been playing stage so <laughs> best believe i'm buying me some of this you know what i'm saying hey you gotta do what you gotta do man i ain't gonna lie if you can't buy jump shot boost then don't worry because badges actually help out a lot you know what i'm saying and if you're somebody that's watching this video, well, I'm going to save this for another video that I'm about to drop next. Um, I'm about to drop this new video. If I don't drop a jump shot video next, I'm going to drop this video. Um, that's going to, it's going to basically, I'm showing you the shooting badges that you need to shoot the lights out. All right. Just in case 
you know what I'm saying, you can't really rely on jump shot boost, well, I got something else that you can rely on, and that's a good jump shot and badges, all right? So you better turn on post notifications, stay tuned, because I'm dropping this jump shot video that's about to turn you into an instant sharpshooter, and I'm also dropping another video that's going to give you the badges that you need to turn into, to solidify you as a pure sharp, all right? I don't care what archetype you is, you're going to be a lockdown too. This jump shot I'm finna get y'all boys, bro, what? Huh? Plus these badges I'm finna give you, what? <laughs> bro, I ain't trying to hear none of that, bro. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. Anyway, y'all, that's the end of the video. If this video helped you out a lot, simply just drop a like on this video and hit that subscribe button. If you don't wanna miss the other stuff I got in store for y'all, then hit the subscribe button, man. I'm trying to get to 500K, what are you doing? You've been watching this whole video, you a non-subscriber. I helped you out, help me out. You know what I'm saying? Help me out by hitting that subscribe button right now. You feel me? I would rather you subscribe than anything. You feel me? Like, I'm trying to reach 500K. I've been in the 400Ks for a while now. So, if I could just wake up tomorrow with just way more subscribers, bro, that would mean a lot to me, man. I ain't gonna lie. Like, you know, I ain't asking for too much. I just, I just want you to hit that subscribe button and turn on my notifications because this ain't even all. I'm finna get y'all hip. I got more tutorials and bangers dropping. I, I, I love y'all, man. All my subscribers know what I do for them, bro. You know what I mean? Anyway, man, thanks for watching this video. It's been your boy, God Trilla Dog, and I can't wait to drop this jump shot video, aka this other video that's finna make y'all even better. I'm not sure which I'm finna drop first. I don't know if I'm finna drop the, the video for the badges first or the jump shot video, but I will see, okay? Anyway, catch y'all later. It's one love. If anything helped you out with this video, simply just drop a like and we out, man. Let's go.